And but you look at the way this team was was built. I go back to 2018 when the principal owner John Middleton said we're going to spend big money and we may even be stupid about it. I think I remember his quote being and five players and 742 million dollars later they did that and it worked. You don't see this amount of players signed for this kind of money on one team and then it worked. Usually it's such a cross your fingers. It's kind of like the Rams in the NFL where they just Spent money, had no draft picks for the next 30 years, but it paid off. They won the Super Bowl. Is that how it's got to be here? I mean, they're in the World Series, but you have to close this deal to make all that spending worth it? Um, I, I Yes and no. I don't think that they have to do it right now. Like, I, I think that their window is... Uh, it's going to be open for a little bit. Like this is not a win this year, all in this year type Philadelphia Phillies team. That's Dave Dombrowski's MO. Dave Dombrowski is a guy that goes out and he's happy to spend his owner's money. Uh, He's a guy that is willing to spend quote unquote stupid money. He did that in Boston. You know, I think, I think David Price was going to the Cardinals for like a, uh, like 180, and he ended up in Boston for 217. So he'll go way over asking to make sure that he gets his guy. He's great at identifying talent, um, which makes me terrified as a Red Sox fan, knowing that uh, the Phillies might go after Xander Bogarts this winter. And if it's not Bogarts, there's plenty of other shortstops that are going to be on the market from Dansby Swanson and Trey Turner and Carlos Correa. Like the Phillies are not done. So even like, I I think I looked at what the, what the Dodgers did. They won the world series in 2020 and then they went out and they, they spent the money on Trevor Bauer. That didn't work, but they were aggressive in spending money on him. Then they went out and, uh, you know, they, they do what they had to do to continue to win. They're not just going to rest on we, you know, we won, so, like, that's it. And that's kind of what I, I think we're going to see from the Phillies. Whether or not they win a World Series uh, uh, this October, I still think that they're going to be super aggressive in free agency to continue to extend that window. I mean, with Bryce Harper, you know, he showed up day one. He said, I want a 13-year deal with no opt-outs. Like, I identified this place, this market, this team, and I want to be here, and I don't want there to be any chatter of, oh, he wants out or he's going to opt out at some point. Um, But they've built a nice little core that they can continue to supplement through aggressive spending, and I I totally – you don't hire Dave Dombrowski to trim your payroll. You hire (laughs) Dave Dombrowski to spend a ton of money, and that's where he is right now. How great is it to spend other people's money? I mean, it's got to be awesome. The best. (laughs) It's it's why I want your family to adopt me, Mike. Ask my daughter about that one. (laughs) Um, John Middleton also told Bryce Harper that he thinks he underpaid him. Bryce Harper is on a $330 million contract. Is that a true or false statement? I mean, that's true. Like you could, uh, so there's, there, uh, the website fan graphs, you can look at fan graphs and they, they'll take like wins above replacement and they have a way to calculate it like over to, to dollar amounts. And you look at the season that Aaron judge just had and it was worth $93 million. So you want to tell me that a dude like Bryce Harper puts up MVP caliber offensive numbers. He couldn't play defense this year because of uh, you know the ligament tear. Uh, but this is a dude that puts up MVP caliber offensive production. And then he wins the NLCS MVP. Not just winning the MVP, but hitting the home run that sends you to the World Series. If you were to take the money and be like, all right, what is this worth to me? Get it, like A player putting the team on his back and getting us to a World Series. Bryce Harper's underpaid. God, I just, and hit that home run. Isn't that what we all did as kids, man, in the backyard? I mean, and he got to live that. That's just, that's just such a cool thing.